and welcome to the cottage at Cottage Town. This week has really been about taking the time to make the cottage beautiful. You may have heard the saying, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think that really rings true in our homes. We can get so overwhelmed or maybe feel down about our spaces when we compare them to things we see on Pinterest or anywhere online. I hope this video encourages you to embrace your own flavor, so to speak, and just make your home beautiful according to what you love. To do the projects or buy the thrifted pillow, whatever it is that will make your home beautiful to you. I'm starting the day with a good breakfast. I'm making grits, fried eggs, and sausage. If you grew up in the south, you know that grits are a common staple on the breakfast table. And you most likely either like it with butter and salt or sugar and butter. If you've been around here for a while, you may know that I'm usually the only one to eat breakfast. So that's why I'm making breakfast for one. The projects we've been working on this week are finishing up the fireside room and Sean has been renovating the boys' bathroom. We'll show you that renovation later though. So, my preferred way to eat grits is with salt and butter. The little things that we as women do and add to our home that show our personality, I think add to the true beauty of a home. And no matter how beautiful you have your home decorated, I believe a tidy home is always going to be more beautiful. Now, I can say that because I have been rather untidy in my past, so I have come to really hold this belief to be dear and true to heart. I am still over here with a broken dishwasher, but I can tell you that putting away, packing away some of our dishes has really helped keep the kitchen more tidy. My preferred style in the cottage, I love vintage and antique pieces, whether it's furniture, dishes, decor, all of it. I prefer things that are decades old. I would choose old over new any day. So that is how I decorate. We're doing some updating in the dining room and the fireside room with just some paint. We went to the clearance section at Home Depot and got the wood, some of the wood to make the wainscoting. The vintage and antique pieces in the cottage 
we bought very inexpensive at auctions. So my point is, your home can be just as beautiful to you and be inexpensive. I like to enjoy a cup of tea several times a day. I usually drink Earl Grey or maybe a chai tea with oolong. Who else enjoys a random cup of tea? I'm starting by filling in all of the nail holes with joint compound. The original part of the cottage was built in the 1940s and it has been built onto multiple times. Before we moved here, when we were still praying for a place, one of the things I prayed for was that God would give us an old farmhouse that had been built onto over and over again and that is exactly what he gave us. The dining room and this fireside room are part of the original house. As I finish up the painting, I am getting ready to start decorating for Christmas. This year, I want to use a lot of items to decorate with, like they would have used an old-fashioned, like old-fashioned kind of decorating nuts, uh, dried fruit, and so today I'm dehydrating oranges. There are other fruits I'm going to dehydrate as well. And I'll use some fresh pomegranate. I'm also going to use clove. Press them into apples. Make lines and designs in the apples. And clove actually makes the apples last longer. And then we can still eat them. But if we don't like them, then we can always just give them to the chickens. I'm putting this room back together, but I'm not gonna hang anything on the walls just yet and not really decorate, just put the furniture back. I have some ideas of how I wanna decorate for Christmas. One final thought on making a beautiful home is the atmosphere. How you treat each other is what is going to make everyone want to be there and add to the cozy and beauty. I've been pondering about what type of curtains I want to hang over here. I would also like to hang some wooden blinds, I think, or maybe some put some wooden shutters over here. The sun comes in in the mornings, and I kind of like how that looks and feels. 
Well, thank you for joining me at the cottage. If you have any tips for creating a beautiful home, please leave them below. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so. And I'll talk to you in the comments below. Have a blessed week.